welcome back to this next lesson which is oracle access manager console oracle access manager console is a graphical user interface similar to weblogic console or enterprise manager console but this is primary focus of this is to manage the oracle access manager configuration this is how you uh, configure or manage oracle access manager properties whatever you are doing from a this graphical user interface most of these functionality you can also do from a weblogic scripting tool wlst but we are looking at the om console here this is a graphical user interface to manage oracle access manager configuration like adding a web gate what is web gate we'll cover that shortly or making any configuration changes to the oracle access manager properties so this is similar to weblogic console or enterprise manager console it's a singleton service which means it can only run in active passive mode so it will be active or it will because it's deployed in the administration server it will run in active passive mode how do you access same thing administration host name and port number which is by default 7001 but uri you use is oam console one word oam console then we in the previous module when we were looking at the file system i opened om config file and i said for integration with ldap server like oid or embedded ldap server i showed you a is system so there is some a concept called system store and a default identity store we are going to cover that in a separate module when we look at e when we look at oracle access manager integration with ldap or directory server or oid that's when we are going to look at will go in detail about the system store but for now understand that a identity store an identity store designated as a system store will be used to log into om console so when a user is logging to the console only the user that is part of a identity store that's designated as system store can log in of course they will be able to authenticate only there will be some extra criteria for authorization or for roles we'll cover that in a minute so om console can be a users who can log into om console are the those who are part of or the identity store that is designated as system store then what all things you can do with om con configuration you can create a om agent you can create a you can configure the session management authentication authorization policies ldap integration password policy and lot more we're going to cover that in a minute this is how the login screen look like and this is how when you lend this is how you it looks like this is the landing page look like which is app for application security and configuration so i'm going to cover that in a, in the next lesson on how does application security look like and we're also going to look at the login page on how does it log in also how the where exactly is the system store how do you know which is a system store as well as some admin roles so head on to the next lesson where we say how to log into the om console and look at this landing page and do few more functionality